Content Hub One is a headless and agile software as a service content management system with a simple interface and APIs to consume and manage the content. But Psycho offers already content management solutions with XM Cloud, XP, or XM. So why do we offer Content Hub One additionally? In today's world, consumers interact with brands in multiple channels. The number of channels has massively increased over the past years. And in order to be present and consistent in each channel, central maintenance is key. As the market is changing on a much faster pace, also the marketers need to adapt quicker than ever. Therefore, marketers need tools that follow their requirements covering agility, flexibility and modularity. Only this way marketers are able to manage the high number of touch points. So what marketers want is an easy to use application to model and manage content efficiently and independent in a flexible but structured way. On the other hand, developers need flexible front-end technologies and easy to consume APIs to build out maintainable solutions. Additionally, they need documentation and guidance to deliver in a continuous and fast way. Content Hub One has been created to exactly serve these requirements. Flexible content modeling, effortless content authoring, fast delivery of reusable content targeting multiple channels. But at the same time, Content Hub One allows developers to work independently from the marketer's daily business, language and framework agnostic so developers select their tools of choice, and a fast performance using globally distributed content. Get to know how fast you get started with Content Hub One to deliver your content to multiple touch points. After login, you can access Content Hub One through the Cycle Cloud Portal. Dependent of the organization you belong to, you can invite new users and access and manage all of your composable DXP stack. Based on your subscription, you can have one or more Content Hub One tenants or apps that you can use for several purposes either to serve and separate different brands or to use it as productive and non-productive environments. I have here an example website showing some recipe information teaser. And when you click on the read more link, I land on a detail page showing all of the recipe data. All this content is managed in Content Hub One. Let's open Content Hub One and have a look. On the home screen of Content Hub One, we get the functionalities highlighted that we can access from here or the top bar navigation. Further down, we get a hint on how to install the SDK for .NET and JavaScript development. This helps someone new getting started very quickly, no matter if the user is a developer or a marketer. At the bottom, we have a list of the last updated content for quick access. On the right side, I can invite new team members. This links to the Cycle Cloud Portal functionality. We can directly access the documentation, create a support case from here, or go to the trainings. In the content screen, I can create, update, delete, and publish content. The content shown earlier can be found here. If I make a change, save and publish the changes, I can see the changes on my website. So let's create a new recipe. Therefore, we need to click on the Add Content button and select the content type we want to create. In this case, recipe. We want to create a recipe for a caramel cream latte. It takes 10 minutes to prepare and you need to follow these steps. As ingredients, we have coffee beans, water, cream and caramel. Let's not forget to give this item a name so we can identify it easier later on in the content list and save. The image needs to be managed from the media section. In here, I can upload, delete and update new images. I'm going to upload a new image for my recipe. The media file is a predefined content type that can hold an image. Additionally, you can maintain the name, which got preset by the file name and a description. Let's just publish the image for now and go back to the coffee recipe. As we've uploaded the image, we can select it now from the list of media files. Now we save the recipe again and publish it. So the content is stored within Content Hub One and already available through the Preview API. 
This API can be used to check content before it actually goes live and is visible for the public. By publishing the content, it is made available through the delivery API. This is the API any public facing app should connect to. The content type for the recipe with all its fields that describe recipe is defined in the content type section. Here I can create new content types or add and remove fields from existing content types. We can use several field types to describe our recipe content, but let's go through all available field types in Content Hub 1. We can add a text, which can be short or long text, a rich text field with basic formatting like bold, underline, italic, but also lists or links, a number field, a boolean field, a date time field, references to reference other content items, and media to reference media items. In the settings section, we can generate API keys that can be used to authenticate our apps with the APIs offered by Content Hub 1. In order to generate an access token, you need the client credentials that you can also find in the settings section. After calling the API to authenticate, you can use the access token to query the Edge endpoint using the GraphQL IDE or the Swagger API. By using Content Hub 1, the SaaS headless content management offering by Sitecore, you can manage content centrally and use it in multiple channels in a consistent way. This can be a website, a mobile app, a printed catalog, a kiosk, an online shop or anything else where you require content.